What's up, guys? Toby, five old baits. Today we'll be making what I call a molting crawl. We're going to be using again the AI AR series crawl. I think that's the name of it. But either way, it's three and a half. Reminds me of a speed crawl. Love it. Uh, last video, of course, getting ready to pack these up. But uh, we did our core shots. Uh, I'll be doing some more of those before long, but right now we're going to be making a molting crawl. I'm also going to go over a couple things that I, I get questions on, and I guess I just thought that most people knew. Uh, my fault there. Um, we have a my molting crawl is a very basic color. I'll show it to you, of course. Uh, this is just blue highlight. If you're wondering what blue highlight is, it comes in a powder. I get it from bait plastics, but I cheated today. I used Dead On's Opaline Blue. It's just a pre-mixed highlight powder, and this is black, just MF black. I didn't go crazy dark with it, but I did add um, blue flake. Uh, 040 and 015 Royal Blue, I think is the color I use. Yes. Uh, from bait plastics so we have our blue highlight which if you're familiar with monkey milk that's basically what highlight is we will be using dual injector I didn't realize a lot of people didn't know where, where and when you can get these things this one comes from Bass Tackle uh, I like Bass Tackle's stuff and oh yeah that's getting hot this one just a little bit more so it'll be about even what I'm looking for. When you get a dual injector, it will come with a blending block. You need the blending block as well as the dual injector. They work together to give you a laminated bait. They make triples where you'll have three colors. I don't have one, I just have the duals. Uh, love Bass Tackles injectors. I've heard great things about N2. Uh, they make them. I don't. I've never had one of theirs, but um, heard your, you know, read great reviews, great things, great customer service. I'm big on customer service. So anyway, this is going to fit on here. Like I said, once we've sucked our plastic up, you, there's several ways to put your top on, but the little bar there is to help hold it. And then we'll go into our molds, and of course you'll have your top color, your bottom color. And you're going to shoot it, or I say shoot it, you're going to give it a push to inject it. Um, not much more than that to it. Uh, several companies make dual injectors. Uh, I'm big on customer service, so I get where I know I'm going to get good service. Uh, Bass Tackle's always been good. I'm big on service, so I want to make sure that I'm getting exactly what I'm wanting, and I'm getting a quality product. If there's ever a problem, they stand, they stand behind everything. Um, you ever do have a problem, uh, certain companies, man, I had a shipment come in. Not a big dead-on guy, but I, mean, I used some of their stuff, a lot of their stuff. Uh, it got shipped, and during shipping, it got messed up. I sent a quick message with a picture, and man, they had already sent me more product back right away. I mean, like, they don't give me the shipping numbers and everything else right away, and I was like, so because of that, I do more business now with that company because I love their uh, their customer service. So, that means a lot to me. I don't like getting jacked around. I don't like my money just sitting there wondering when I'm gonna get my stuff. They give you, right, you know, tracking numbers, everything right away. Love that. Um, or when it ship, which is usually very quick. So those are the companies I like to do business with. Now back to this molting crawl, when a crawfish shed, you know, they get that bluish color. So we did our black. We're not gonna go overpowering with the black. It is dark, but I added the blue flake. That'll be the bottom color and the top color, of course, I do the blue highlight. I uh, love the color it gives. Sure a lot of people make something along these lines. 
but that time of year, we're going to start pouring more of these. Uh, I got one that feels a little bit thinner than the other, and I want them about the same consistency. So when one is thinner, we have to stir it, stir it pretty good just to make sure we're getting it to cool down. Now that that's out of the way, I think we are close. Give this one one more stir to make sure our flake is suspended. But again, my normal stuff, if you watch my videos, you know I'm using Calhoun's plastic, two thirds medium, one third soft. That's the way I roll, that's the way I like my baits. And that's how I do it. Oh, let me move that for just a minute. My colors are down here in my hole, just to keep from uh, falling over. Or not just, they can fall over in there, but it's not gonna burn me in there. Uh, with Angling AI, we know the top is up with the nuts, or the acorn nuts, whatever these things are called. So all we're gonna do now is shoot, we're gonna suck up our plastic, we're gonna pop on, our blending block, they make a C block, which swirls, but this is a blending block for laminates. And we're just gonna give it a good even push. Into our molds. And if everything goes well, we're gonna have Amazing molting crawl baits. I've said like what colors I like to throw, and some are seasonal, some are not. I'm not real big or not real picky on little details like we talked about before when I got these molds. You can have you can change, you know, have the legs a different color or something along those lines. I don't need all that. Uh, the most I'll do is like a two color laminate. Now, if somebody wants them, you know, with legs or claws, crawl, you know, whatever, we'll make them for them. Of course, that's what we do. Like I said, I'm big on customer service when I'm, I'm ordering stuff, so I expect the same other people want. Oh, I dropped it as well. So when we take our blending block apart, you get some of this plastic good. It's, and all these little pieces, it may not help, but I throw it right back in the cup because plastic, we can remelt it. I just spit. I don't know how it's so hot. I should be dried up. That's our colors. Really can't tell the blue highlight right this moment, but blue highlight on top, black with blue flake on the bottom. Um, it's been a staple of mine for a while. You can put everything up or together, because if not, I'll lose stuff. A lot of times, uh, You will not get a perfect laminate if you're, you know, you're, again, your temperatures aren't correct. But again, for me, it's feel just as much as it is temperature. It feels the same viscosity to me. It seems to laminate a lot better. Now, when you shoot, they're going to want to suck in and suck down, draw down, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you don't want that to happen because you will get air sucked down into your baits. These are a little warm. I, I'm sure they're set up by now. I'll pull this plastic off the top. And we're going to demold and have a look at our molting crawls. Woo! If everything turned out right, it may look like junk. And do y'all remember what I said about the top being one side and I screwed up. <laughs> oh, I actually put the blue highlight on the bottom. But 
No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Maybe it's the heat that got me all messed up, man. Look, I'm sweating. I'm pouring sweat. It's hot in here. Yeah, because there's our hook little thingy. I'm sorry. I, I'm having a day. Y'all ever just had a bad day? I'm having a bad day. So anyway, this is our molten crow. See how one didn't uh, laminate perfectly even? Took on more of the blue, but I like it still. That just means that our blue highlight was cooler than the black. So we got more out of it. That's what I talk about when you want your temperatures correct or right. But I like them and I'm going to fish them so I'm good with it. Got some of these to make also as orders but also, I'm gonna try to fish tomorrow. If you don't know, I broke my damn le dang leg, and uh, I'm hoping I can do it tomorrow. I'm hoping. Uh, the longer I stay on it, I get a lot of swelling, but I'm hoping that I can fish tomorrow. There it is. There's our molting crawl. And again, you can fish these either way. There's no, you know, it's got to be up or down. If you want the black up, you can fish it that way. Um, I fish it black down. I like this side up. Don't know why. I really don't know if I'll get more bites this way versus this way. But I love the color. Certain times of year, it just gets bit, and they love it. So there it is. There's our molten crop. And uh, on other ones, if I didn't explain a lot of things, I'm sorry. Well, like I said, I'm new at this, getting better at it, maybe, hopefully. Uh, again, different companies you can get from. Bass Tackle, awesome. Um, yeah, that one's been awesome. Um, told you about the, the problem that I had, man, they fixed it right away. And that, my friends, is a beautiful molten crow. Now, all you gotta do is go catch some dang fish, man. I appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, give me a like and subscribe, guys. We'll do some more. Again, I don't mind people coming with questions. That's what I like about it. I like the interacting. Colors. Um, one guy wanted to see the core shot swim bait. I'm going to do that soon. Uh, as soon as I get caught up on everything, I'm going to do that. So, again, hope you like it. hope it's something you would fish. I know I am. And... That'll be tomorrow, so pray that I can uh, keep my leg from swelling and hurting while I'm fishing. Because I love to do it, and I've been itching to get back out there. And uh, just to go back over everything one more time, again, Angling AI, this is their AR crawl that we use today. Uh, two, three cavity molds. We use basic black on the bottom with... Bait plastics, high temp flake. We use two sizes, 015 and 040 hexagon. We used our dual injector from Bass Tackle. And we produced some sexy molting crawls. Hope you like it. You can use the recipe. I don't care. It's just one that I do, the one that I make. And uh, works great. Appreciate you watching. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Let's go catch some fish. See ya.